Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme is God. So, <clears throat> this is the mother of Jafar Jackson. Uh, I don't think they're still married to Jermaine. I don't know. I, I double check all that stuff. Like I said, I'm not expert on this shit and stuff. It's like, I don't care about these people, really. These people really don't matter to me and shit. You know, <laughs> they're not much at all and shit, right? So, let me just play a little piece of this here to so you get the background story of who this woman is and who her child is that she had with Jermaine, the Jafar. Let's listen a little bit. This comes from the page, a YouTuber named T.I.'s Hot Mess History. Right, that's whose page here I'm using. Nevertheless, while Randy was away from home, Jermaine and his Jerry Curl moved right on in. Alejandra said in that interview, quote, Jermaine wanted a family and that's what I always wanted for my kids. And he was a father for my kids. <sighs> okay, so I guess that she couldn't find any man who was not related to the father of the children that she already had? According to Stacy Brown, Alejandra told him, quote, Randy didn't treat me like I was the one. I just thought that Jermaine was different that he was more family oriented. What the hell? Again, I guess she couldn't find a more family oriented man who wasn't a part of the Jacksons. In 1995, Jermaine and Alejandra secret, secretly married after having two of their own children together, Jafar and Your Majesty. Yes. Your Majesty. <laughs> and they adopted a child together, Dante, that apparently Joe Jackson gave them, but that's another story. So Randy, like any brother would have been, of course, was devastated. According to Stacey Brown, this is what Randy Jackson told him about Jermaine marrying his ex and baby mama. He said, quote, Joe blow down the street, but my brother in the same house? She's a pig and my brother is a fool. That's what he <laughs> Okay, so Randy marries that woman, uh, Alejandra, right? Or he doesn't marry her. He has two kids with her. Okay? So Randy Jackson has two kids with this Alejandra woman, right? And then uh, he had he wasn't marrying her. It didn't look like he was going to marry her. There was stuff like that. So I mean, there was like a little something there and stuff, right? So she has every right to go out and date freely, like basically any man of her choice. But to date Jermaine? <laughs> ah, shit. I mean, come on. What what a fucking hooker, right? She's a hooker. She's looking for the the bigger, better deal, right? <laughs> That's what she's looking for. She's not looking for, like, a man that'll be a good husband. She's a hooker, and she's looking for a payday. That's a, that's what she, that's all it is and shit, right? So that's probably what it was with Randy is that he knew that she was, like, a hooker like that. And he's like, yeah, all right, you're, I'll let you be the mother of my children, but I'm not going to marry you, you dumb fucking hooker bitch and shit, right? But so who, do, who does go in there and marry that dumb hooker bitch? Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Jermaine stole the mother of Randy Jackson's children and married her and had children with her. It's like you're Jermaine Jackson, you're right, you're a big star, you're a Jackson, you can you have access to thousands and thousands of women out there, right? But you have to go and marry the white okay, now like if Randy didn't have any children. If Randy didn't have any children with her, then I wouldn't have a problem with it either. It's like, okay, that's that's not that's not that's not that big of a deal. It's like, okay, you were hooked up with her, but she didn't have but once she's had his kids, <laughs> I mean come on. Oh, it's like incest and shit. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, it is horrible. So this is one of these things about Jermaine right here showing you. And there's no doubt that Randy Jackson and Jermaine Jackson are Jackson family, right? So Jermaine was willing to do that to Randy, to take the mother of Randy Jackson's children and marry her <laughs> and have his own children with her. I mean, come on. That's like, you can't touch that woman. I don't care. I don't care how fucking hot she is. Anybody who would do that, like, okay, 
if you're living like in the 1700s, right, and you're out on the farm and shit and you're farmers and shit, right? Okay, at that time I can understand and shit, right? That's totally different, right? But come on, we're talking about modern world, all these big cities, they're fucking world travelers, fucking famous people and shit, right? Come on. I mean, come on. It is freaking ridiculous and shit, right? What a scumbag to do that to his own brother and shit, right? Who, this, this woman who he's got children with. And then Rand is, so Jermaine's going to go in there and marry this bitch and have children with him? So it just shows you that Jermaine absolutely does not care about the well-being, the mental stability or whatever of people in his own family. Jermaine doesn't even care about his own Definitely his own brother, Randy. So, if Jermaine doesn't care about Randy, if he would be willing to do this to Randy, what do you think Jermaine cares about Michael, who's not actually a, a Jackson? That Michael was given to the Jackson family, and the Jacksons, like, groomed him as a musician and stuff. Michael had all the real talent, but the Jacksons groomed that talent and turned him into the star and stuff, right? If, if Joe Jackson is not the person he was and doesn't have all these children. And he, if Joe Jackson doesn't build the band, what I'm saying is if Michael would have just been given to somebody else, right? When Michael was given away as a child, there's no guarantee that Michael's gonna be developed into a musician. Even if he had the artistic ability of being a singer and stuff, what's the chances that he's being signed to Motown at 10 years old? I mean, it's almost like no chance. There's like no chance that Michael, it would have been much later development if Michael would have had to develop on his own. He would have had to do that stuff on his own. So this is where Jermaine does not respect Michael because Jermaine the whole time is like saying, we did it, the Jacksons did that. And it's like, so Jermaine is like, who cares about your talent, Michael and shit, right? It was our family who worked hard. We're the ones who did it. Jermaine can take all the, the credit and stuff, right? But... The simple reality is that the Jackson family didn't have talent and none of them ever would have gotten a record deal if it wasn't for Michael's. First of all, if it wasn't for Michael's talent. Second of all, if it wasn't for Michael having the direct connection to Motown and Barry Gordy and, and uh, Smokey Robinson and Diana Ross and stuff, all of that stuff, right? So the Jacksons are, they're like irrelevant when you wanna talk about like their place in music history and shit, right? They don't exist in music history if it's not for Michael being given to that family. But then there's the other side that it's like, well, yeah, well, even though well, Michael could have been given to another family, and if Michael was given to another family, then who's to say that his talent would have been developed and shit? So you got to give credit to the Jacksons for that shit, right? But Jermaine wants to take all the credit for that. Jermaine's like, we did it. We did it. We're the Jacksons and shit. Jermaine, it, it, so Jermaine doesn't respect Michael. He doesn't respect Michael at all. So, and you can see that if he's willing to do this to his brother Randy, then what do you think he's willing to do to Michael? How is he willing to steal from Michael and stuff? If, he'll, if he's willing to steal the mother of Randy's children, then what do you think he's willing to steal from Michael and shit, right? He's willing to steal everything. And so what's happening is that, now this is a little performance of Jermaine Jackson and he's got his, the Jafar is there, right? So this is what's going to happen, is they're going to make this, uh, Michael Jackson movie, right? With the Jafar Jackson playing the Michael Jackson character. And then what they're going to do with that is uh, they're going to tell the story of what they, this story will have nothing to do with telling Michael Jackson's story. It'll have nothing to do with benefiting Michael Jackson. Every bit of that story will be designed and orchestrated in which to make the Jackson 5 look better. And only times they're making Michael look better is only because they're going to use that to help lift up the Jackson 5. This is actually going to be a movie for the Jackson 5 and shit, right? Even though Michael will be the star, the whole purpose for this movie is now they're going to have the Jafar, the Jermaine's kid, Jafar. They're going to have him because the people in public, the... The citizens are so fucking stupid, right? They're so dumb. They're so, so dumb that all the Jafar's got to do is sing with a little bit of a high voice. Like, he's a Michael Jackson impersonator. Michael Jackson's blood does not run through the Jackson family. None of them. So when you people are like, oh, he looks just like Michael. He's a Michael Jackson impersonator, just like Janet Jackson was. Just like all these loser fucking Michael Jackson impersonators out there like Michael Trapson, you know? All they do is fucking steal from Michael Jackson. They're not Michael Jackson. They don't have any of Michael Jackson's talent. There is enough. They're not even close and shit, right? 
But the public is so stupid to be like, well, Janet, Janet's girls, they're so stupid, they can't even tell the difference between Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson, the talent level. They can't even see the difference. Janet Jackson does not have any talent. The only talent that she has is that she was raised in an entertainment family and she was trained to emulate Michael Jackson. She's a Michael Jackson impersonator and she doesn't really do that good of a job of it and shit, right? If it wasn't for Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis actually writing all of her songs and actually making her a song, she never would have been a star. She never would have had any hit songs. She didn't write her fucking songs. Nobody would have signed her and shit. The only reason anybody signed her is because you had Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis writing her songs for her. The songs were hit songs. It was regardless if Janet was the person singing the songs or not, those songs were going to be hit songs. They could have just went to somebody else and Janet just would have been nobody. Right? The only reason that Janet had the opportunity to be the singer of what she was is because she had the name attached to being the younger sibling of Michael Jackson right at the time that Michael Jackson has become the biggest star on the fucking planet right after Thriller. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, now they're like, okay, well, we can sell Janet now. Her name will sell. They didn't care about what kind of talent because they were writing songs real simple. They were like, we'll make it easy for her. And that's what the Jacksons are going to do. They're just going to make the Jafar. They're going to make, don't worry, we'll make an easier version. You're not going to have to do so much. It's not like you're going to have to go out there and sing Who's Loving You and sing it like Michael did. Do you think Jafar is ever going to fucking do that? No. I mean, he'll sing it and shit, right? And the stupid fans would be like, because he'll just sing with a high voice. And they'll be like, oh, look it. He's thin. He kind of looks like Michael because that's what they think. They think that any thin black person who talks with a high voice looks just like Michael Jackson. That's about all you got to do. You just got to be thin. You got to be black. And you got to talk with a high voice like this and shit. And then they're like, oh, he must be a Jackson. He must be related to Michael and shit, right? It's so fucking stupid. So, the whole purpose of this fucking movie that they're creating is that so that the Jackson 5 can steal back Michael's legacy, and instead of Michael having control and having the freedom to go solo and do what he wants, now the Jacksons are going to steal Michael Jackson's legacy, and they're going to bring it back under the umbrella of the Jackson 5. They're going to reunite. They're going to reform the Jackson 5, and they think they're going to go out and tour the world. They're going to become big stars. They're going to become the Jackson 5, and that's what they're. That's why the movie is getting made. The movie is not being made to tell Michael Jackson's story. The movie is being made to fool the stupid Michael Jackson fans, the public, into believing that Jafar Jackson can represent Michael Jackson in the new form band of the Jackson 5. That's the whole purpose of what they're fucking doing. And here's an example to show you. He's a simple singer. Anybody can be trained to sing like that. It's not even, it's not anywhere on the level of Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's not anything like Michael and shit. You see, now he just sings with a high voice. See, like, that's not, it's not um, impressive vocal ability. Like, what he's doing there, he's just a normal person who's just having a, a basic form of singing. It's like a very simplistic form of singing, but he sings it in that high type of voice because he's been trained to be a Michael Jackson impersonator his whole life. So he just thinks that, oh, I sing with a little bit of a soft voice like this, and people will be deceived and they'll be fooled to because he's got the name Jackson and stuff and people will be like oh he's like Michael they'll start looking for the similarities right when they can't see the fucking glaring truth that dude Michael Jackson was one of the greatest singers of all time go sing who's loving you let me see you sing fucking who's loving you you know what you ain't gonna find like go see Janet Jackson you think you can ever find a video of Janet Jackson singing who's loving you you think that dumb bitch was stupid enough to ever go out and try and emulate Michael Jackson and to show the world that she's got no real fucking talent you guys are stupid as fuck that's like in the scream video it's like you people don't even understand it's like dude in the video scream with Michael and Janet 
Janet actually is rapping because she can't sing. She, they actually have her rap. She's rap. She's a rapper. <laughs> it's hilarious and shit, right? It's like she's just one of the no talent rappers that they hired and put into the song and shit, right? She can't sing. It's, this guy can't fucking sing. He just is a Michael Jackson impersonator uh, with my high voice and, and the mistletoe. Merry Christmas. Oh my God, I'm a Jackson. Did you hear? I sound just like Michael Jackson and shit, man. I must be a fucking Jackson and shit. <laughs> so this is the garbage that they're putting out. This film is going to be created for one purpose, to steal from to steal Michael Jackson's legacy and to bring it back under the umbrella and the control of the Jackson 5, the one thing that Michael Jackson did not want, the one thing in the world that he fucking clearly showed in his life that he wanted to step away and make his own fucking legend and create his own fucking image and stuff that he created being Michael Jackson. The one thing that Michael Jackson was so proud of is his solo work, the work of what he did, and the Jacksons are gonna steal all of Michael Jackson's legacy and force him back into the fucking Jackson 5 and they're going to take control of him and use him and abuse him just like they did and shit, right? So this is all the control of the Jackson family stealing from Michael Jackson's legacy. It's like, look, it's like, like I said, this is all the end game is to reform the Jackson 5 because you say, well, why would, why would Paris and Prince, you know, Michael's children, why would, because they're the controllers of the Michael Jackson estate, really, why would they allow this to happen? Well, that's because the Tito, the Tito's son is the one who is now like the guardian. He was like the guardian after Catherine couldn't do it. Then Tito's son stepped in, right? And then so, and so Tito's son, he's in that band, like, 3T, three 3T, three t, three Tito's, t, I know it's T3 or 3T, I think it's 3T, the 3 Tito's and shit, right, which they suck, go, go listen to them sing live, they're horrible, I mean, absolutely fucking horrible, because they're Jacksons, they don't have the vocal ability of Michael Jackson, he's in, Michael Jackson's world class, one of the greatest that ever done it, none of these people are, are professional singers, none of them, None of them would ever be hired if they didn't have the name Jackson attached to them and shit, right? Now, like, I'll give credit to the Jackson 5. They worked hard. I totally give them credit. They did fucking work hard. And they put on a good show. I give, I'll totally give them credit for that. Yeah, they can put on a good show. But the only reason the show was any good is because you had that fucking stud, Michael Jackson, leading the fucking band. Without Michael Jackson as the head of that show, then the other stuff really, who cares? Then it just becomes simple. It's like I'm watching some kind of high school talent show because the level of talent of what you get from the Jackson family is the same kind of talent you could find at any fucking high school talent show in any large city in America, we're talking about thousands and thousands of fucking schools, right? You go to a high school talent show in any large city in America, you will see the talent level that's better than the Jacksons. And that, we're talking about every single fucking high school. And so people can't tell the difference between a high school level talent of a high school talent show, which, which is what I would represent with the Jackson family. They can't tell the difference between that to that fucking 10 year old Michael Jackson singing Who's Loving You better than anybody who in the world who has ever fucking sang that song or attempted to sing it. Michael did it better than everybody. Better than all of them. At 10 years old, he was already fucking better than all of them. Without that fucking talent, the Jackson family is just a fucking average family who performs at their high school talent show. They're not fucking these world fucking class entertainers and shit. They're nothing. This Jafar Jackson, without having the name Jackson, he is nothing. Nobody would ever hear about this guy. He's got no talent. Is he writing his own songs and shit, right? You think he's got the talent to write the fucking great songs like Billie Jean and Beat It and shit, right? He ain't got the fucking talent. These people are not artists and shit, right? They're just stealing from Michael Jackson. And because Michael Jackson's fans are so fucking stupid, they're going to encourage this. Because Michael Jackson fans are doing the same thing. They're all stealing from Michael Jackson. And that's why they encourage this. Because the whole pile of shit that the fucking Jackson family is and the fucking Jackson fandom moonwalker community, they're all piece of shit, total fucking loser morons who only are out in the world to steal from fucking Michael Jackson.